The remaining finalists for the 2017 Young Australian of the Year awards have been announced and Queensland's Young Australian of the Year is 17-year-old Taj Papari. He's a tech entrepreneur who developed a build-your-own tablet he calls Lego of the 21st century. Taj Papari joins me now from Brisbane. Taj, firstly, congratulations. How do you feel? Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was an amazing feeling. Had no intention of even walking away and, s and saying a speech. Didn't even prepare one. So really <laughs> appreciative to, to the Queensland people. Yeah, OK. It's pretty incredible. You're, you're only 17 and you're, this is not only your first business. You started in business at 11. What has made you kind of such a big picture person? Yeah, definitely. So I think I uh, got involved with some awesome people from a very young age. Uh, success by association. You surround yourselves with absolutely awesome people. Some of that awesomeness does rub off on you as well. And <laughs> surrounded myself with some awesome people, people like Jan O and Andrew Bruff, Jock Fairweather, and got started. OK, but there must be something else in there as well. Having awesome people around you, but also having the ideas, having the confidence, having the vision to then pull them off. Yeah, definitely. I think some element in that as well. Uh, look, big believer of the idea of learning, so failing while simultaneously learning, and obviously mix that with awesome mentors. And yeah, I think success is pretty much uh, comes with that. So yeah, really appreciative of everyone who's been part of the journey. So tell us about this social enterprise. One aspect I'm, I'm really interested in is that you believe that young people can't just play with technology. They need to create it and build it themselves. Is this the idea behind your tablet? Spot on. It's about creating a generation of young people who don't just use and consume the world we live in, but to actually create and build it. A new generation of young people uh, who can ca combat the challenges of the 21st century innovation economy and these challenges completely new things like climate change automation we're being trained in jobs that will no longer exist in five to ten years time so we think it's so important for young people to have an insight into the world of creativity entrepreneurship and computer science yeah okay so then how does it actually work you basically build yourself a tablet and you want to make it accessible to disadvantaged kids Spot on. So for every one tablet that we sell, we educate one child in a disadvantaged community. So we've visited many indigenous communities here in Australia, leaving our tablets all around the place, running workshops, teaching them about, hey, you do have the power to create. You too, as a seven-year-old living in potentially Yarraburra and Cairns, you too can change the world. Uh, your postcode no longer defines you. You do have the power, you have the mindset, and you have the resources to change the world. So that's what we're really passionate about. And we've set a goal of educating a million kids by 2020. It is actually amazing just looking at you speak. You've just got so much confidence and passion. I can imagine that for young people who interact with you, uh, they're so inspired. You often look at inspiring people and you think, oh, well, I'll be like that when I'm 30 or 40 years old. <laughs> so for an award like this for a Young Australian of the Year, I can presume that it does inspire a lot of people because people can look at you and say, oh, well, gosh, he's only three or four years older than me. Maybe I can really achieve something. Hopefully, hopefully, as President-elect Trump said, hey, if you're going to be if you're going to be dreaming, you might as well dream big. And I think for me, that's really been massive. And I hope you, more young people embrace that. And hey, if you want to be a, if you want to be in retail, that's great. But hey, why don't you own a retail franchise? Or hey, if you want to be in medicine, don't just think doctor. That's great. But why don't you own one? And I think just opening the world up to young people that, hey, the world is your oyster and you too can be the change that you want to see in the world. OK, Taj, well, great to meet you. Congratulations again and good luck with the awards next year. Thank you.